Hello everyone, my name is Chris and welcome to a new episode of Unique Pro Skins. Once again I picked some unique skins owned by professional players who are definitely worth showing you. I think you know how the series works by now, so let's jump right into it by presenting you the first skin of this episode. So the first skin of this episode is the Statrek AWP Asimov by Shazam called Shazimov. It is in Battle Scout condition and Shazam's primary orb skin. On the skin you can find a Cloud9 sticker from the Major in Katowice 2015 and a Olofmeister signature. What makes the skin so unique is the story behind why Shazam has put an Olofmeister sticker on it. During his stream a viewer just asked him if he ever suffered from depression and Shazam replied by talking about his disappointing time in Cloud9 and all the hate he was getting through social media websites like Twitter for example that made him almost quit CS completely. Suddenly Olofmeister talked to him on a barbecue dinner after a certain LAN tournament and gave him the needed confidence to continue playing CS. A story on how Olofmeister saved Shazam's career. I uh, went to the, the barbecue, Brazilian barbecue dinner at the end of ESA LAN. That was like the last ESA LAN in Dallas. And I was sitting across from Olof and Pasha. And he turns to me, he's like, hey, like, Shazam, listen, like, F-Dazed, F-Steel, um, uh, I've never seen anyone do something like that when they, like, were making those tweets and Daze made that video about me. He's like, um, I've lost all respect for them to doing that. That video makes no sense. They don't take into context any of the situations or the communication or what you knew. And, uh, just ignore them. Uh, just do your thing. You've got talent. Like, just like some something really nice. And that, like, I hate to be cliche about it, but uh, that kind of just sparked something in me. Like, like I, I still wanted to play. Like, I, I wanted to do that. And, like, that Olaf did not did not have to say that. That's the reason I have Olaf sticker on my op. That's the only pro player sticker I have or signature sticker I have on any of my guns. And like, yeah, like he did not have to do that. And so that just it meant a lot to me. I never thought in my life like something would change my mind so well, but I could pinpoint it to that moment. Like I literally thought to myself, like I felt so good inside because like that whole time I was getting trashed on, um, that like those couple months I was getting trashed on. Olaf was the one person that had my back and is like, listen, I understand how you're feeling, and uh, you'll be all right. I just remember that dinner. I'm, I'm glad I went to that dinner because if I don't go to that dinner, if Wolf didn't say that to me, I wouldn't be playing CS right now. The next skin is the Desert Eagle Kumishu Dragon in Factory New Condition owned by Complexity Player Death. He renamed his skin recently to talk about feelings. During an ESEA Pro game similar to FPL on DE Nuke, Death was playing in a 1 vs 2 situation against Odorus and Whitmer. Whitmer, who decided to plant the bomb on B side, rotated over vents from bomb side A down to bomb site B. Death, who came from heaven, jumps onto the hotspot and from there he jumps down to take down Widmer through the ground onto B site. For one second I felt like I was watching 1.6. After the round Taco from SK calls for a timeout and the reason for the timeout was, as Taco said, to talk about feelings. Hence Death chose this exact name for his skin. By the way he even got an ace this round. So, when it feels good and you can fall He paused. <laughs> Let's talk about feeling sometimes. Let's talk about feeling. <laughs> oh my god. The next skin is a M4A1S Souvenir Knight in minimal wear condition owned by Envia's player NBK. The skin was dropped in the grand final match at the major in Klushna Poker 2015 between Navi and Team Envia's and also fittingly has a NBK sticker on it. The name tag on the skin says Grats from Sparkles and was actually opened by the YouTuber Sparkles as well. He was so kind and donated it as a little present to NBK since NVS won the Major. 
NBK thanked Sparkles on Twitter by shouting out his YouTube channel and he also uses the skin as well, which is pretty nice. Talking about Olof Meister in the beginning of the episode, the next skin is a M4A1S Hot Rod in Factory New Condition with 4 Olof Meister signatures on it. A lot of you requested this skin in the comment sections of many former Unique Pro skin videos. He named the skin Summit's Big Head because he won this skin in a 1 vs 1 against Summit. Olof Meister has been playing for skins in 1 vs 1 matches against other professional players several times, also for example against Pasha Biceps from Virtus Pro. Because of the fact that he has won this skin against Summit 1G gives it a special meaning for him. Oh my god! 15-15. Oh, I'm gonna play with your hot run on Dream Act, dude. Don't worry. GG! 1 HP, easy PC. <laughs> So the last skin of this episode is the Statrek AK47 Point Desiree in minimal wear condition owned by Biali from Virtus Pro. The skin got decorated with two Biali signature stickers and with a pretty fabulous looking unicorn sticker. In the last chance qualifier match against Renegades at E-League, Biali stepped it up in the second overtime by landing an absurd and incredible 3 man spray down to secure Virtus Pro the win on this map. The casters were impressed like I was and James Bardolf even said that this was one of the most absurd moments in CS he has ever seen. And I can agree on that. It's incredible how Biali controlled his spray in this one and it definitely was the highlight of the game for sure. players on the A site, Renegades versus Pro taking a slow body, holding the angle very smartly indeed. Continuation what? spray, that is one of the most absurd things I have seen in Counter-Strike. Please somebody explain the science behind that kind of nonsense as the last man standing and he is the last man to fall. Bali with completely absurd scenarios there to clear out the defenses and take versus Pro over the line. 2-0, look tight, look difficult. But it is a very jovial versus pro taking this over the line, asking Bali what the hell he just did.